Number 27. What is the magnitude and direction of an electric field that exerts a 2 times 10 to the minus 5th Newton upward force on a negative 1.75 microcoulomb charge? All right. So whenever you're trying to identify direction magnitude of electric field, I think it's very useful to think in terms of like a, uh, a type of a capacitor, so to speak. Uh, so don't if you're not familiar with the term, don't worry. Basically, all it is, pretend you have a region, some region that is positively charged. Okay? Pretend it, you know, pretend it's just a rod. Okay, it's positively charged. And then you have another region, same thing, like a rod, uh, that's gonna be negatively charged. Okay. And if I were to ask you now, what does the electric field look like uh, between these two plates? How would you draw the electric field lines? Well, you have to remember one thing, right? Anytime you're dealing with a positive charge, the field lines always point away from the positive charge, okay? And if you ever have a negative charge, the field lines always point toward the negative, okay? So, that being the case, if the lines always point away from the positive and toward the negative, that means there would just be lines that look like this, right? Pointing directly down. Does that make sense? Hopefully it does. If it doesn't, I can't really hear you. But you can leave a comment. Um, so now, what we now keep this in mind. Either now here's one of the two things. Either we can orient the field like this, right? Or we can orient this thing in any particular angle. How did that not get what? Strange. Hold on. Sorry. How did that happen? Or we can orient this thing in any particular way we like. Right at this angle. It could be horizontal, it could be vertical again, but pointing up, right? And it's getting bigger. Woo! I'm sorry, guys. I gotta have a little fun with this. I apologize. <laughs> oh god. Okay. As you could tell, as the book progresses, I'm losing my mind. Right? As as things progress here, um, you are witnessing the dissolving of someone's mind while they go through every problem in a physics book. Okay, so uh, now uh, what we want to do is we have to now consider a hypothetical. So we got a negative charge, right? So let's detail, let's just put the dot here. This thing's negative. I don't care what the magnitude is. It's negative. Now let me ask this question, okay? If the charge here is negative, let me maybe move this charge off to the side. If the charge of this point is negative and the force on this point is pointed upward. It says upward force. I know it gives me a magnitude, but who cares what it is? I just care about the direction right now. There's an upward force on it. That means that there is some force pointing upward, okay? There's an upward force here. Now, what we have to do is here is my external electric field. I have to orient now this diagram in such a way, so let me... Let me, uh, actually, I can't move it. Oh, no, I still can't. Okay. I have to orient this now in some way that makes this make sense. In other words, would I orient, would I orient this capacitor, essentially, in this fashion? Does it make sense that the negative charge there in red would be attracted to the positive plate on the top? Would that be the force? Right? Or should it be like this? Is the negative charge there in red attracted? Would there be an upward force to the negative plate on top? Right? What do you think? What, does this make sense? Right? Does this make sense? Something, one of these will make sense. And it turns out that this will make sense. Right? The negative charge will be attracted to the positive charge. And that's what's basically the upward force is all about. And or you can look and say, well, this region's negative. And therefore, that should be a repulsive force pointing up. You see? They're both going to reinforce one another, essentially. So I suggest whenever you think about an external electric field, just know that the external electric field, because usually they're just drawn by like field lines like this. But always know that the arrows always point towards something negative. And the arrows always point away from something positive. That'll help you uh, solve, I think, the problem in terms of whoops, in terms of direction. All right. So now, 
We know the direction of the magnetic field. What's the direction of that uh, magnetic field? I'm sorry. Doing a lot of magnetic problems lately. So magnetic field, electric field, so many fields. Um, so what's the direction of this electric field here? Well, the electric field here looks like it's pointing downward, right? Downward. Good. Okay, great. So now, uh, okay, so <laughs> that's good. Uh, now let's figure out the magnitude. So how do we relate? So we need a formula, right? That relate that will relate the magnitude of the electric field to the force to the charge. That's the formula over here on the right hand side, ladies and gentlemen. It says that the electric field magnitude will equal or electric field strength will equal the force exerted on a particular charge divided by the charge of that particular charge. All right. So now let's see if this all kind of hopefully makes sense. Ready? Watch, even if I didn't, even if I didn't do this diagram, watch what will get spit out in terms of this uh, equation if I plug in the right sign. Um, though I would probably, I would probably recommend you always think through this kind of visually, all right? Because sometimes the, the signs may not work out as nice as you think, but... Watch, the electric field here, strength, will equal the force. The force is pointing upward, so it's positive. So it's going to be 2 times 10 to the minus 5th, divided by then Q. The charge here, they told us, was a negative charge, right, which is negative 1.75 microcoulombs. You've got to convert that into coulombs, so just multiply it by 10 to the 6th. And notice now the electric field will be what? It'll be 2 times 10 to the minus 5th times negative 1, uh, not times, what am I talking about? 2 times 10 to the minus 5th divided by uh, negative 1.75 times uh, 10 to the minus 6th. And it's going to be negative, right? Negative 11.4 newtons per coulomb. Those are the units of electric field. All right. So now notice the negative sign. Where does that tell us it's pointing? It tells us it's pointing downward. And that's what we said it should be. Okay. Now you might say, well, why didn't you just do this? You could have made a two second video. Well, I don't think you truly understand what's going on. All right, that's why. So I, I do want you to understand uh, what's happening here and how to think through the problems, okay? Uh, especially on something like this, because like I said, the, the electric field here, um, it, it can be kind of tricky to think about the orientation sometimes. And the, and the signs, like I was mentioning, might not work out exactly how you might anticipate them. So I think it's best to think about this visually, get the direction from the visuals, uh, and then get the magnitudes from the calculations. Guys, thank you very much for tuning in. I appreciate it. If we were able to help you out at all, please help us out by subscribing, hitting the like button, and telling your friends. We appreciate it. Take care.